Hello and welcome to your August 2019. This is going to be the How Are You Feeling for the Beautiful Sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hi, Pisceans. I do not have on my fish tonight, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm letting you know that I see Pisces right off the bat. You've been waiting. And you have, have had a tough go of it. Because in your mind, you're under the impression that there's going to be this divine grand gesture that takes place or this magical event that just, you know, something that just falls out of the sky and lets you know she's the one. He's the one. Doesn't work that way. And you have been a little shifty, making and, and, and true and true to mutable nature, going back and forth changing your mind and the person that you are connecting with has possibly not liked it and there was an ending okay we crown this reading with very soon so you have to make your mind up clearly decide what you want there are two people in this particular card so it's clear that you have made a choice that is going to be you two okay that's what you made the choice this is a past life relationship. This is a connection that defies the odds and you can't figure it out. And you're being guided to free yourself. Free yourself from what? Well, you have to take back control of your life. And that also, and to me, means mentally. That Ace of Swords kept trying to come out, but it did not. Pause. Let's go into a peek at the past. You've dealt with the person that did not treat you correct. 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 I don't know what that came is for. Spirit is letting you know that you got wrapped up with the wrong person in the past. Um, you let your desire take you down a path where you chased your desire and... Mix up your desire with romantic feelings for a person and unfortunately pursuing those romantic interests ended up um, ending in unrequited love. You realize that that mistake cost you possibly shedding some light on your finances and career. One affected the other or everything was affected at the same time. And that is what you need to free yourself from. But let's go into it a little bit more. So this is a peek at the past. There was some unrequited love for someone in the past that you have had some romantic feelings for. And as a result of that, you also were stressed out with your finances and career as well. This new person that you met since then is not the same headache that didn't love you and like you back, Pisces, okay? Um, and yes, the tower came crashing down because it was unrequited love, okay? And again, your desire puts you in that position. Now, this king is better than the knight, but something didn't work out there. And... It affected you. And I believe that it kept you. You stayed longer than you needed to with the hangman. Okay. Does that make sense? So you stayed longer than you needed to in that hangman energy and didn't cut it when you needed to. And it left a long lasting result on you. And you already have an issue. I, won't, I don't like the word issue. You already have challenges making up your mind anyway. So when you outweighed your outstage or welcome in this last um, uh, situation with, with Mr. or Mrs. Headache or Mr. Uh, Mr. Mess, Mrs. or Mr. Messed Up, it affected you going forward. Then you meet Mr. or Mrs. Past Life Relationship. When you met Mr. and Mrs. Past Life Relationship, you still have to work on freeing yourself from Mr. or Mrs. Messed Up. Follow me. That's what you're actively trying to do. Okay? 
You need to get back to romance and have fun again. You hardened yourself because of you were, you were dealing with messed up, you know, Mrs. or Mr. Messed Up, which kind of messed you up in return because you're being guided at the bottom to get back to being playful. L look at that, the romance, recapture romance. You have to recapture romance, not because you never had romance with the new person, but just because your perception of romance was so screwed up by the past. And I don't think you're being honest about it, but there's something different about this person because we have religious factors. There could have been your upbringing. I think it's a little bit of everything. This has been coming out. Um, there is a difference between this person and the last person. And it's good, though, Pisces. It's a good difference. And then finally, you're being guided that this person is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play right now in your love life. What confirms this? Bottom of the deck energy, we have the world and the ten of pentacles. You can't get no better than that. That is our new beginnings right here. This is what you want. You have to make your mind up. And while you're making your mind up, you're in the Four of Cups, which is okay. Because you re you are in currently re-evaluating. Currently re-evaluating your emotional foundation. And that's okay. That's okay. But that's the reason why... Divine is telling you to decide what you want because it's going to happen. Once you put put the ignition behind the intention. I just came up with a new one. Put the ignition behind the intention. Okay? Then it's going to start to happen. Now, I did pick you, which is interesting. I did pick you out a ask your, at, wait, ask your guide. You got unconditional love unbelievable that you got unconditional love and honestly you have injuries and doubts you do and you really do have some issue you can have some issues with your mom um this is to put a doubt to all of your insecurities of what Mr. or Mrs. Messed Up did to you, Pisces. Okay? You are forever beautiful and a beloved child here. Okay? You have to accept, breathe, and relax and allow these vibrations and divine to soothe your soul and to calm your doubts and insecurities. That's what's taken a long time here. That's what this Four of, of Cups is. You need to accept that. And a lot of the time, <clears throat> you're so insecure about what's going on. A lot of it is loving on yourself. You just have to love on yourself a little bit more. If you resonate with that, email me. Let's go over getting you back to a point where you can stand yourself. If that resonates. If it doesn't, then that's fine. I see what you've been going through with this person. This person that you are connecting with, Mrs. Past Life Relationship or Mr. Past Life Relationship, this person is it. You can have a life with this person, Pisces. Look at that. I can't even make it up. You found the person to give you that unconditional love. But there's so much healing that needs to be done here. Good news is, is that you're working towards it. Aquarian energy with the star. Hope, healing, and optimism. You're hopeful. This person makes you happy. I get this in you guys' energy all the time. I don't know who this person is, but oh, wait. Look at that. The happiest card of the deck. They make you happy, Pisces. They really, really do. And you really do love this person. This is... A very deep spiritual connection between you and this person. It really is. You tr you're trying. I will say that. I'm proud of that. You're trying. How, do, how does Marv know? Well, we have the star and then we have the two of wands. 
minor arcana energy right here from the magician major arcana energy with the magician it's projecting outward projecting outward having all of the tools in your arsenal to manifest the beginnings that you want minor arcana is the exact same thing in reverse you have the power to manifest inward what you want to manifest because you have to take back your power but from a personal perspective you have to work inward out and you're trying you really want you you know you really want this person this is beautiful now if i show you these look at this card combination here this is just gorgeous this lets me know that you can see yourself with this person there is an offer that is here with the queen. You want to make an offer of stability and foreverness. Then if we also take the world, <laughs> and this is, I've already showed you that when we do it again. We reiterate the exact same thing. This is a deep spiritual connection there are some factors that make you guys different, but I don't think that it has anything to do with major religion. I will tell you, though, that if I show you this, the Two of Cups and the past life relationship, this is a connection that defies the odds, but you have got, you have absolutely got to free yourself. And that is what I'm hoping, Pisces, that that's what you're doing. While you are sitting under this tree and contemplate, contemplating how to move forward with this. I hope that you understand that you can be happy with this person. And I'm not talking about just any old happiness. You got the Leo Sun card. They make you happy. They ignite things inside of you that you haven't, that you, not that you've never felt before. You've never felt before. Like, you've never even experienced this at all. And that's what makes it so hard for you because you are so used to dealing with F-nut over here with the unrequited love all up in your pockets. You got hit with, look, you felt romantic feelings for that person. Yeah. Okay. Uh-uh. But this new person, past life connection, baby. Look at that. You've known this person before. Your energy with this person is off the charts. That trumps rom just these little rinky-dink old romantic feelings any day. You can be romantic. With somebody you meet on a bus stop. <laughs> but you are not going to have a past life connection with any Joe Blow walking up and down the street, Pisces. Now, you got, you've known each other before with a past life relationship. You've got divine timing is at play in your, in your love life. Look at these cards right there for a minute. Just with these alone. If I didn't have anything else out here, I'm okay with these. I will take these two. The And Pisces, you're a water sign. You got to have, be connected to do anything. If you don't feel the connection, you can, you can look from afar and admire from a distance. But if you don't have that connection, the spark, and the person that makes you happy, the sun card. Come on now. Stop it. So Pisces, if, I mean, you need to make your mind up. Utilize the time that you are taking the step back right now and really understand that while you're reevaluating that this person is worth waiting for. Okay. Don't completely continue to screw this up. And I'll tell you something. This Queen of Pentacles says a lot about unconditional love, if I take that card back up. Because look at the bottom of that. That's the Divine Mother. 
Look at that card. What does the queen of pentacles do? She nurtures. That's what this person does. Maybe there is a bit of you that is um, neglected in that way. Okay. If you are a Pisces man, that is what your this divine person does for you. If you are a Pisces female, then this person represents themselves as a very stable and mature person. I don't want to say father figure, but that void that you're missing. Now, we're not supposed to necessarily go into our partners for what we're missing that we didn't get at home. But let's face it, that's what you're attracted to if you never had it. And that is what the, these two cards represent. That strong security that no one even if it was missing from the mom, has been able to give you. And even if it was missing from the dad, okay? So that is what I see, and this is beautiful. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I hope that this resonated with at least one Pisces out there. Um, I personally have been reading this, this energy for you guys for a while, and I wish you the best of luck in your relationships, okay? Um, I'm happy to report that you know, you do end with really, really good, strong energy. So you need to allow the healing to take place. So because, I mean, you're not going to be able to function without this person. So accept the unconditional love. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Catch me next week when we do it again. I will be bringing you what aren't they telling you. We'll go ahead and examine things from your partner's point of view. And I am out. Bye, Pisces.